Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel Technology and today in this video tutorial, I will show you guys how to turn your Windows 11 PC into a secure file server for your small company. Also, I will show you guys in this video how to exit anywhere you want from different different IP address. Also, I will use PowerShell to create file server only using command line. So without wasting much more of your time, let's get started. So at first, you need to open your file explorer. And here I have only one drive and that is my Windows 11 install drive. So what I'll do is you can use external hard drive or else you can sync some volume from your C drive. So here, for example, I will sync a few volumes, a few amount of volume from C drive. So, so I'll right click on my start menu and click on disk management. Now I'll right click on my C drive over here. As you can see, it is showing over here. Click on shrink volume. I will shrink about near about uh, 15 GB. Okay. And click on shrink. And as you can see, new unlocated partition is showing over here. So now I'll right click new simple volume. Next, next. The next uh, file system is NTFS. Then next, then finish. After done, close this window. Now, as you can see, one uh, new volume is showing over here. So under this uh, volume, I will create a few folder. Okay. So go under that folder. And here, what I'll do is I will create one folder. So I'll right click and click on new, then folder and type over here shares. Under this folder, I will create another folder called uh, company files. Okay. So after that, so basically I will share this folder with my clients. Okay. So now what I'll do is I will open first. I will open uh, my PowerShell on my computer. So type PowerShell. So here is a Windows PowerShell. So right click on it and click on administrator run as administrator or else you can click over here run as administrator after that click on yes so now after open powershell what you have to do is simply you need to go to my website over here as you can see technology.in so link i will provide to my video description first i will create our two user one is test one another one is test two okay so here is the username and here is their password as you can see so you can change change it as per your requirement so i will copy the first command from here to create test one user on my machine so i'll right click and press enter so test is created successfully next i will type uh, copy paste this command to my power cell to create a uh, test to user account Sorry. To check your user account uh, created successfully or not, you just need to type net space users and after that press enter. Now, as you can see, it is showing test one and test two created successfully. Now, what you have to do, you need to uh, set the NTFS permission for security. So if I right click on this company folder, and go to properties and click on security so currently as you can see test one and test two is not showing so what i'll do is i will simply copy this command first i will copy this path command and press enter so if you have different location then you can change from here okay you just need to replace e E drive with your uh, drive letter like D or F something else. Okay. So now if I type dollar path and press enter, as you can see, the location is showing over here. Now I'll give a uh, folder permission to administrators. So I'll copy this command and right click over here and paste enter. Next, I will give uh, permission to the test one and test two. So after that, 
If I'll right click once again and go to the properties and security, as you can see are uh, now test to one and test two is showing under security, both the user is showing. So now what I'll do is I will uh, create SMB share. So for that, I have to copy this uh, command for my, uh, you just need to copy this command and just right click. And before I paste the enter, so let's see on sharing, I don't want sharing. So currently it is not shared as you can see. So if I'll press enter and if I'll right click once again and go to properties, as you can see under advanced sharing permissions, test one and test two is showing. Now I have to enable file and printer sharing in firewall. So for that, I have to copy this command and press enter. Now you just need to uh, go to your start or search window and type firewall dot cpl and press enter uh, because my defender is enabled uh, for that reason it will not work so what i have to do is i have to create one inbound rule for that i have to click on advanced settings go to inbound rules from your left side over here click on inbound rules and click on new rule on your right side over here you just need to click on predefined okay and select from here file and printer sharing okay after that click on next now on this window you just need to select first file and printer sharing echo request icmp v4 that's been ip4 ipv4 so you just need to check this one and this one also which is file and printer sharing echo request icmp v4 if you are using IPv6, you just need to enable this one also. ICMPv6. Okay. Another one is you just need to select file and printer sharing SMB in. So select both the option. And the last one is you just need to select from here uh, NB sessions in. Here. And another one is here. After that, click on next. Now you just need to select this option, which is uh, allow the connections and click on finish. After done, you just need to close this window. And now I will try to access this uh, uh, folder from different machine on my network. So for that, I have to check my IP address first. And my IP address is 192.168.0.61 okay here is my different machine on my network so let me show you first i will open cmd if i will type ip config as you can see the ip address is different which is 192.168.0.147 so now what i'll what i have to do is i just need to open file explorer then i i just need to click over here and uh, type slash slash IP address of your file server then slash the folder name which is in my case company files and after that press enter as you can see it is connected successfully also you can uh, map your network uh, using just click on map a network drive just click on this three dot button and you can easily map your network drive now click on browse select your folder click on ok then finish as you can see it is showing over here on my file explorer and now if you want to access this file server from your outside of your network then simply open your browser and simply uh, search for uh, tell scale so go to this website called tailscale.com uh, and after that you need to click on this download button over here 
and if you are using windows then click on windows for ios it, it is available mac os it is available linux android so i'll download for windows click on download they'll scale for windows and after that click on open after that click on i agree then click on install after done click on get started and click on sign in to your network so i'll click on uh, i'll log in with microsoft account you can use google account github account or apple account so i'll click on sign in with uh, microsoft account now if i'll open uh tell scale and i will click on open admin console so as you can see here is my desktop the ip address is showing over here if you want to access this file server from your different machine, simply you need to download Tailscale on that machine. And after that, connect through this IP address instead of a uh, private IP, which is in my case, uh, as you can see, 61. So you just need to put this IP address and after that, you can easily connect on that network. Before ending this video, I would like to big thanks to all my channel members. A special shout out to everyone who regularly watches my videos and support the channel through membership. Your support truly means a lot. So if you want to support the channel too, then click on the join button and become a channel member to help me to making more helpful content like this. Thanks again for watching and as always, I will see you on the next one.